So you've got a solar and battery installation and you're already saving money on your energy bills. Fantastic. Now, how do you fancy saving even more money or better still actually making money at the end of every month? Stay with me and I'll show you how. Hi, I'm Gary and welcome back to my channel, Gary Does Solar. Your ability to benefit financially from your solar and battery installation almost depends as much on the energy tariff you choose as it does the equipment you have installed. By choosing the correct energy tariff for your situation, you could potentially save even more money on your energy bill than you are now. And rather than you paying your energy bill at the end of every month, there are tariffs available in some countries where your energy provider will pay you instead. But in order to capitalise on these opportunities, we need to get a good handle on the types of smart tariffs available where you are, why they're being offered and how they actually work. Then from there, we can start to build strategies based on the solar and battery equipment you have in order to increase your financial return using those tariffs. And it might be, depending on the tariffs on offer, you'll need to switch between tariffs throughout the year to maximise those returns. They say the more effort you put into something, the better the outcome. And I feel this is true with developing strategies for smart tariffs. What I originally thought would be one video will now be a series of four videos, with this one being an introduction to the topic, setting the scene for the next three. And if you're willing to stick with me throughout the series, you should come away with a very good understanding of how the energy market works and how you can personally benefit from that. All right then, shall we get started? Smart tariffs, also known as time of use tariffs, provide a means for countries via their energy providers to influence consumer and also business behaviour on how energy is consumed on a daily basis. These kinds of tariffs are there primarily to control demand so that it more closely matches the availability of the various energy supplies, including wind and solar, at various times of the day, month or year. And in some countries, smart tariffs are also used to control supply so that any excess generation from domestic properties and businesses can be brought into the energy mix, reducing the need to burn fossil fuels in meeting that demand. Countries can save millions, if not billions of dollars through efficient management of their energy resources, but none of this works unless the consumers and businesses are incentivized in some way. And of course, money talks. Countries are therefore willing to pass on a proportion of the savings onto consumers and businesses to encourage the right kind of behaviour. And this is what allows smart tariffs to not only reduce the amount of money you're paying to your energy provider at the end of every month, but also the prospect of you making money instead. This kind of thing was unheard of a few years ago. And don't forget, simply by making use of smart tariffs, you're also doing your bit to help save the planet as well. In this video series, we're going to look at the different kinds of smart tariffs available around the world and identify some practical strategies you can employ with those tariffs tailored for your own solar and battery installation to gain the maximum financial benefit. Before we do that then, can you help me out please and just take a second to click the like button. That way more people will get the chance to see this video. And if you subscribe to my channel at the same time, you'll get notified as soon as the remaining parts of this series become available. Thank you. Let's start then by looking at what smart tariffs are. They also go by the name of time of use tariffs because the amount you pay for energy varies depending on the time of day you use it. This chart shows how a standard tariff is priced. You can see that the price per kilowatt hour is the same no matter what time of day you import energy from the grid. But a smart tariff might have an off-peak period at a certain point in the day where the price of energy imported during that period is less than the standard rate. And it may also have a peak period at a different point in the day where the price is more expensive than the standard rate. And some of the more complicated smart tariffs might have a second off-peak or peak period as well. But when are these off-peak and peak periods? Well, that depends on what part of the world you live in. This map shows solar irradiance, essentially the level of sunshine across the world. And as you might expect, solar irradiance is a lot higher nearer the equator. And that means the strategies we'll be looking at will vary depending on where in the world you live and also how much renewable infrastructure is already in place in your country. In our video, we'll be looking at the differences between the northern and the southern hemispheres. Going back to the smart tariffs then, the rates we've looked at so far are for imported electricity, meaning the electricity you draw from the grid. But some smart tariffs also provide export rates, these rates are money that your energy provider will pay you for exporting electricity to the grid instead of importing it. This might be a flat rate, paying the same price per kilowatt hour no matter which time of day the energy is exported. Or it might have a peak export period, similar to the import tariff, 
where a higher price per kilowatt hour is paid for any electricity exported during that time. And it might even also have an off-peak export period, paying a reduced price for export during that time. With appropriate use of these peak and off-peak import and export rates, energy companies can essentially shape consumer behaviour on a mass scale, so that it alleviates the ever-changing energy supply and demand constraints during the day. Taking this further, almost to an extreme, there is also another kind of smart tariff where the import rate varies every 30 minutes during the day and night, like this. More than that, these rates will be different every day. Essentially, the import rate tracks the wholesale price of the energy market. So when energy is cheap, typically when it is cleanest, you pay less. And when energy is expensive, typically when it is dirtiest, with a lot of fossil fuel being burned, you pay more. And as well as ever-changing import rates, these tariffs might also come with a fixed or ever-changing export rate. OK, so that was a look at how smart tariffs work. But tariff rates are only part of the equation. Other factors throughout the day include the amount of solar generation available, your home energy usage, and importantly, the various actions you can take with your solar and battery installation. All of these factors affect the financial benefit you can expect to receive. Let's take a look then at the various solar and battery actions that are open to you. And you might remember these from a recent battery ROI video I made. I've put a link to that in the description. In this first action on the left, you're using your solar generation to directly power home appliances. This is the most efficient action you can take, but it generally happens automatically in most solar and battery installations. It's not really a choice you can make, so we'll discount it here as an action. In the next action, you can choose to export all of your excess solar generation to the grid, hopefully at a favourable rate. And in this third action, you're simply drawing energy from the grid and directly powering home appliances with it. But again, it's not a choice you can make, it just happens when required, so we'll discount this action as well. Let's have a look at the battery-related actions now. In this first action, you're storing excess solar generation into the battery for later use by home appliances. In the second action, you're importing energy when it is cheap and storing it in the battery, again for later use by home appliances. And below that, there's an action where your excess solar generation is stored, then exported back to the grid later in the day. And finally, an action where you're importing energy when it is cheap storing it in the battery, and then later exporting that same energy back to the grid. Now we've already discussed this apparent get-rich-quick scheme in this video here. The trouble is it's only ever profitable if the difference between the export and import price is greater than the cost per kilowatt hour for using the battery. And it might be that your energy provider chooses not to pay out for what they might deem as brown export. So I think we can discount this action. Let me know in the comments though if you think differently about this. OK, so this leaves four practical actions that we can take at any time during the day to maximise our return. Let's order them from the most profitable to the least profitable. In the UK, where export rates are typically about half the price of the standard import rate, the order could look like this. Although there's an argument to be made for swapping actions 2 and 3 around. And in your country, actions 3 and 4 might be swapped around if the export rates there are lower. Whatever the order turns out to be for you, we'll be using that in the remaining videos in this series. Let's talk about those videos then. In part two of the series, we'll be looking at strategies around what I call template smart tariffs, where the rates vary according to a fixed template every day, comprising peak and off-peak import and export periods. This second video will be concentrating on locations in the Northern Hemisphere, where the off-peak periods are typically during the early morning and peak periods in the early evening. Part 3 of the series will cover template tariffs for the Southern Hemisphere. And here they are often referred to as solar sponge tariffs, which attempt to address the challenge of an abundance of solar energy during the middle part of the day, but little demand on the grid at that time to soak it up. And then in the final part of the series, we'll be looking at strategies for wholesale tracker tariffs, where import and possibly also export rates vary constantly throughout the day and night. Now some of the strategies we'll be looking at in this series will require fairly deep data analysis, so I'm very happy to be working with Tim from Tim and Kat's Greenwalk YouTube channel. Tim happens to be a data analyst and coder in his day job, so I'm really pleased to have his help on this. And by the way, if you haven't already watched some of Tim and Kat's videos, I recommend that you do, and I've placed a link to their channel in the description. Part 2 of the series will be coming shortly, and to prepare for that you might want to watch these two videos I made recently, which describe examples of the template and tracker tariffs in the UK.
And finally, if you're living in the UK and you'd like to get yourself set up on one of these tariffs, I have no hesitation in recommending Octopus Energy. They provide a whole range of smart tariffs to suit whatever solar, battery, EV or even heat pump configuration you have. And if you switch to them using my referral code here, as an added bonus you'll automatically get £50 credited to your energy account. And at the same time you'll be helping me in my work here on this channel as I'll also get £50. Thank you. OK, I hope this video has set the scene for the series and I look forward to seeing you back in part two. Thanks for watching.